Warriors NRL Fanatics here, back today with a video. Now I'm going to give my three options I think that could possibly fill that role as a hooker for round one against the Gold Coast Titans in two weeks time. Now if you guys don't know already, Wade Egan did pick up a suspected shoulder injury in yesterday's preseason trial game against the Gold Coast Titans in Lismore in New South Wales. And yeah, when I was watching this game on a NRL app, you know, when I saw Wade Egan holding his shoulder, I was very, very concerned. Now, you know, you just look at our hookers depth, it's not great at all. It's very, it's just one of the biggest concerns heading into the season for me was what would happen if Wade Egan and Carl Lawton both get injured. And unfortunately, my worries have come true in that case so you know it's very very gutting it's very very disappointing and you know I, I wish Wade Egan a speedy recovery and I hope his injury isn't serious at all I don't know the full details of the injury just yet because you know it hasn't been released on the nrl.com website so you know all I know is he picked up a shoulder injury apparently so you know he didn't look great when he came off the field he, he was holding and he was he was holding his shoulder and he was in pain, so it's, it's not great at all. And, you know, I know myself and a lot of people have huge doubts over Wade Egan and his potential at the Warriors. And, you know, last season was a prime example of um, the doubts I had. And a lot of people have probably had over Wade Egan. Over Wade Egan. And, you know, what? Well, I was willing to give him an opportunity willing to give him a chance heading into this season and see how he goes and you know I want to see him play well and and prove a lot of people that he can be a good hooker at the Warriors but you know unfortunately this is a massive setback for Wade Egan and the Warriors themselves as this is a big big headache for Nathan Brown heading into round one of the NRL season is who's he's gonna who's he gonna pick to play hooker in round one against the Gold Coast Titans because the Warriors don't have much options. They, they don't have much options at all. So, you know, I'm going to try and give three options that I reckon uh, that could possibly take that spot. It's a bit of a tough one, but, you know, I, I, I had a uh, think about it. And um, these are three options that I would probably um, go with, possibly, uh, to uh, play hooker in round one. The first option is um, Jazz Tavanga. Now, Jazz Tavanga is probably the one option that they'll probably go with. And you know, Jazz Tavanga, he's played a lot of, he's played a lot in the um, block position. He's played a bit of hooker as well in the past for the Warriors. So, you know, it would not surprise me if they picked Jazz Tavanga at hooker in round one against the Gold Coast Titans because, yeah, he's played there quite a bit for the Warriors in the past. But, you know, my opinion on Jazz Tavanga at hooker. You know, I, I don't think he's best um, in that position at all. I don't think he's best in that position because, you know, I'd rather see Jazz Tavanga play in the forwards or, you know, on the, off the bench because that's probably where he's best suited. So, you know, when he won Interchange Player of the Year, I think in 2018, he, his, his best year for the Warriors, he was pretty good there. So he was pretty good coming off the bench as an Interchange Player, but... You know, he played a lot of starting lock last year for the Warriors. And, you know, Jazz Tavanga, he's a good player. I like Jazz Tavanga. He brings a lot of mongrel aggression. He's he's like a um, he's like a Jared Rio Hargraves for the Roosters. You know, he brings that passion and aggressive nature to the Warriors. And, you know, you look at last year um, against the Parramatta Eels, he, he was the one that got caught up in that fight with um, that uh, Parramatta Eels player, which I forgot his name, with, forgot who it was, but, you know, I, I really like uh, Jazz Tavang, he's a good player, and I know a lot of people, a lot of people, or some people, um, aren't big Jazz Tavanga fans, but for me, I, I, I like Jazz Tavang, he's a great player, so, but, you know, for me, um, as a hooker spot, I think possibly they'll go with Jazz Tavanga in that position. And um, option number two, uh, this might might be a surprise to some people, but 
You know, Kei Nikurima, he, he's played a bit of hooker before Kei Nikurima, but he's played also as a utility player off the bench as well. But you could possibly put Kei Nikurima in that hooker and have Sean O'Sullivan slot in the halves of Chanel Harris Tavita. They could possibly go with that option. You know, Kei Nikurima's quite. Quite, quite a player that could um, fill that role actually I think you'd do all right in that role so but do I see them putting him in that position possibly not I don't see them playing him there um, but this is the second option I've gone with so Cody Nikarim is my second option the last option and uh, this might be one completely out of the ordinary and this is a one that I'm surprised about actually because you know, I heard a bit about it uh, during the off-season with some of the uh, assistant coaches talking about it, and that is um, Bailey Siren could possibly um, play as a uh, hooker as well. So, you know, Bailey Siren for me is best suited in the forwards, and I don't see Bailey Siren playing there. I don't think it's the best idea, to be honest. And um, you know, it's best he plays in his position in the forwards. So. I don't see him playing there at all. So yeah, I've gone with those are the three options I've gone with. And another bit of a um, special mention, you know, another player that could possibly go in there. He, he's quite young. He's yet to play first grade, and he's in the Warriors team. And that is Temple Kalpaloa. Temple Kalpaloa. Um, apologies if I mispronounced that name, but um, he's a young player coming through the under 20s uh, and uh, coming through the other grades and he's yet to play a first grade game but he could possibly play in that hooker as well but you know I don't see the Warriors um, slotting him in because you know uh, he's probably not ready to, to play first grade yet because he's still a bit young and you know I don't see them putting a pressure on a young player like him to come in at hooker. Another option and a special mention um, Paul Turner you can possibly play Paul Turner at hooker but you know, he plays in the halves, and I, I don't think that will be ideal. So, yeah, that is my options on hookers uh, on hooker spot for round one against the Gold Coast Titans. The NRL kicks off in two weeks' time, and I'm very much looking forward to round one. And, um, yeah, also, uh, I'd like to thank those who joined the live uh, reaction stream yesterday for the preseason trial game against the Gold Coast Titans. Thanks for uh, coming on and tuning in for those who did tune in. Now I do apologize the first uh, live stream wasn't the best so I will make sure I do a better job next time because yeah that was my first time doing a live stream on YouTube so yeah the next time I do a live stream live reaction I will make sure it's better quality for you guys. So um, yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below the channel's at 290 subscribers, so come on, let's uh, get closer to 300. We're getting very close to there. So if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you consider doing so already. And uh, also, if you could hit that like button and uh, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Who do you think should play hooker for the Warriors in round one against the Gold Coast Titans? And I'll see you guys in the next one.